All right, performing one more test here. Uh, I've ran the radio through the linear amplifier for higher power capacity. Uh, rather than having a thin piece of magnet wire, I've replaced it with a fuse that's rated for 200 milliamps. Uh, everything else is the same. The extra coil runs through the ballon. The other end of the ballon goes through the bulb, through a 200 watt bulb, through the fuse, through to the Tesla magnifying transmitter on the receive side. So uh, I'll start the power quite low because I'm not sure uh, if and how badly that will pop. Okay, uh, there was a very brief light coming from the fuse. Uh, it was a slight orange and then it disappeared. Uh, the bulb on the left is lit, so apparently it is still a closed circuit. And yes, looking closely, the fuse is still intact. So left-hand side is also a 200 watt bulb. We are currently running 40 watts. Uh, SWR is quite poor, so the num that number will be a lie. Uh, there's significant losses in the impedance match uh, because the balance selected here was arbitrary and not matched to the extra coil in any significant way. So uh, I'm going to increase the power a bit. 40 watts, 50 watts, 60 watts. 70 watts, 80 watts, 100. You'll notice the bulb on the left is illuminated, the bulb on the right is not, even though they are both in series in the same effective circuit. Also notice the fuse hasn't lit up and it has not popped yet. So that bulb is rated for 200, so let's keep going. 100 watts, 120, 130, 150, 190. Because of the efficiency, I don't think the bulb on the left is fully illuminated, so we'll keep pushing it. 200, 220, 240. 270, 300. The fuse, uh, it's not visible, but it is just barely starting to turn a dull orange. 350, 345 watts. The bulb on the left is quite illuminated. The bulb on the right, the filament is just barely starting to glow orange and the fuse in front is also barely starting to glow. Keep going. 340, 350, 380. And that looks pretty close to full illumination on the 200 watt bulb. No, I'm wrong. Uh, but at any rate, the fuse is uh, starting to go from orange to a yellow color, and the filament on the bulb on the right is just barely, it's still uh, a dull orange. Actually, I think I can zoom in on that. Come on, focus, you fuck. There. Fuse is still intact. It's still lighting the circuit. So, as long as I'm here, we are still at 375 watts into the system. Uh, SWR is quite high, so a very good chunk of that power is being reflected in the transmitter. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to uh, see how far we can go with this. 400 watts, about 410 on this dial here, 420, it's very difficult to uh, 
make small changes on the linear amp. 450. 500. And it looks like the fuse is just almost ready to go to give. The bulb on the right is still roughly the same illumination that it was before. And I'm debating whether I want to push harder because uh, when the fuse pops it will cause a significant change in impedance uh, that could damage the amplifier. So I think I'm just going to leave it at this for a moment. So you can see. And then if we use the bulb to measure tension, uh, obviously we got quite high tension with several hundred watts rolling through this. Uh, but if we touch the, uh, the leads here, they're not any more illuminated than the rest of the circuit. It, the, most of the energy is coming from the extra coils on both sides. So the wire itself does not have a significant voltage attached to it, other, otherwise it would be arcing over or lighting very brightly. The transmitter is still at 500 to 510 watts and the bulb on the left is probably close to 200 so that, uh, given the reflected power, that makes sense. So we're probably close to uh, 100 to 200 watts being dissipated in the bulb on the left. And the current that's running through the lead that's powering that has to be less than 200 milliamps, otherwise it would have popped. And it's definitely warm. Uh, I don't want to bring my hand too close, otherwise it will detune, uh, and also the whole shock thing. So I hope you guys find this interesting, and uh, we'll be continuing these experiments and see how far we can push them. Power back down. Hope you enjoyed.